Hi, in this video, we'll demonstrate how to create a raw data sheet for your TC ice cream since app. So let's begin. I'm here in my hub. I'm going to go ahead and click on the TC ice cream app and click open. And again, I have the any pop-up sheets I have that appear up here in my app overview. My other sheets here, I have the template, the product analysis sheet and the state analysis sheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new sheet. You can type template, duplicate, and call this raw. Open the sheet and here we go. Okay, so let's begin. Let's take a step back, look at our requirements document. It says, contains visualizations and related to the data of the application. Use a template sheet as your starting point. Okay, we did that. We have a sheet, we have a raw data. Okay, so basically we're gonna create just one visualization, a pivot table, so we can review the raw data. So, I'm gonna click a sheet. And here's our assets. We're gonna click charts, pivot table, drag and drop. I'm gonna put these green dots here. I'm gonna make this larger because I'm gonna take up the whole sheet. Call this. Okay, so now the raw data, like a pivot table, like an Excel pivot table, wants to know rows and measures. Okay, so let's figure this out. Let's go back to our business requirements document. It says rows, sales date, and sales ID. And sales. Not here, no sales date. And notice here, I can go over here to mention and add another dimension when I add in the sales ID. Okay, so those are my rows. And let's see here, those are measures that wants to know it. The columns, the measure it says here, when it's quantity sold. So we'll just go we'll do that right now. When the quantity sold, it's always the sum. And then here we'll go here, we'll expand quantity sold. We need to give it a label here that says quantity sold. And then here I'll type the change this to the best rows. Okay. But then that gives us everything we want. So we need to add now, if we go back up to data, pretty easy. The columns, so we want to add some columns. So let's go back to our requirements document. It says here columns. Labor name, product name. Now, we'll do labor name. Now let's add another column. And we'll click in product name. And I'm going to click that out of me because the raw table, raw data table has been created. So as you can see here, for example, I can click on a date or select. We can actually search for dates. So we can search by foot search. We can take for 125-2018. And that's what it does here. So it filters at 125-2018. I can click the plus to expand it. It shows me all the sales transactions for that specific date. Now, over here, my columns show me the flavors. And I can click, let's say we'll select them. Um, Cookie dough. I click the plus here for cookie dough. It expands it out, such so as the ice cream bars, ice cream bits, ice cream gallon, etc. So I can say, okay, so I can click on this sales transaction. Checks, it says here, okay, you sold this date, this transaction, this is the ice cream flavor in the specific box. So I can break down the data, break down to specific elements that is what I sold, the product, and the flavor. And I can grab my selection to bring the show all my data again. So that's what's nice about it. Clicking these pluses, I can expand the data out. I can click a date, maybe the second of January 2nd, 2016. So I can look at January 2nd, 2016. Here's the flavors. And I can look at strawberry, ice cream mini cakes 14. Let's look at cookie dough. 
I sold on January 7, 2016. Cookie dough, I sold 16. Finally sold the ice cream bars and ice cream pints is 15. So I think we're looking at the ice cream pints. So on January 2nd, 2016, I'm looking at my ice cream pints. I sold cookie dough here and chocolate chip, Rocky Road. I now go take a click the plus and it shows me my sales transactions, if you would, for those particular dates. So January 2nd, I had four sales transactions, 15, four and 12, and then eight. Obviously, I can clear my filters in time by clicking the X's here, or I can just click here to clear all selections. And that concludes this video.